Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Horton from Dr. Seuss. So let's get started. To draw this sweet elephant, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big oval. Then I'll come right across, about right here, and draw another oval. There. Then let's come inside and we're going to draw another oval close to the edge right here, close to the center edge. And I'll come into here on the side right here with a circle and shade everything else in. So same thing here. So close to this edge, draw an oval, and then right here for a highlight, a circle, and shade it all in. There. So then let's come to this eye right here at the bottom. We're just going to draw a little curve right here on each side. Then let's come up and we're going to draw some beautiful long lashes for Horton. So we need three of them right there and same thing over here. And let's come above his eye on this area right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down. So I'll just kind of have it down right over his eyelashes and I'll go ahead and thicken it up all the way down. And I'll just shade this in. So same thing here. So about right here. Curve it down over his brow. Bring it down and thicken it up. There. <laughs> okay, so then from there, we're going to come down quite a ways because we have to draw his trunk. So, um, let's say about right here, right underneath his eye in this area. So come down about right here. I'll go ahead and draw a curve. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So about right here. So just make sure you come down quite a bit because we need to draw this long trunk. So then from there, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start right here in the center and we're going to start to draw his trunk. And this side right here is going to be shorter. So I'm going to curve and we're just going to bring this all together. So just notice we're curving out to the same. And we're going to get thinner as we come up. So we're going to start with, and then let's bring this up right here. And as we come to this area, I'm going to stop and I'm going to curve right here in and around. So I know this looks really weird right now, but it's going to make sense because we're going to come right here and we're going to round it around. Oops around and we're going to get really close to right there and then connect it. So this is basically Horton's trunk twirled around there. And then in this little area right here that we've drawn, we're going to draw the, um, the flower. So right in this space, let's come out and we're just going to stick a little stem in there. Let me just finish the circle right there. And so let's come in here and we're going to draw the clover. So let's come out and we're just going to draw a bunch of lines, nice and big, all the way around. So it looks like the clover, nice and fluffy. The lines all the way around. And then right on this flower at the top, of course, we have to add the speck where Whoville is, right? So we're just going to add a little circle right there. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that done, we can come in here, maybe just draw some curves, or some detail on the trunk, uh, maybe some here. 
Okay, so then now let's come back and we're going to draw the face. So come really close to the eyebrow right here. We're going to come out and say about right here. I'll give myself a point and we're going to drag a line down. So same thing here. Just come down nice and long. And we're going to aim to come about right here. So widen it out a little bit for the cheek area. We come in and finish off this curve about right here. So same thing here. Come down, widen a little bit in whatever space you have. Let's just go ahead and finish this curve. There. Okay, so we finally have Horton's face in. Now I'm going to imagine this coming up. I'm going to skip a little bit of space because I have ears I need to draw. And just come up right above, draw a curve all the way across. Imagine it coming back to that, and then I can go ahead and draw his ears. But before I do that, let's draw some hair right here, tough of hairs. So about right here, I'll add in like maybe four strands. Come in here and thicken it up. And then now his ears. So I'm gonna come out about right here. I'm gonna go up nice and high. So I'll go up, round it off, come down. And we're going to aim to come back to about in this area right here. So let's bring it down slightly straightwards and then we're gonna come out. So as we come out, we're going to draw maybe a four of these curves. So first one, one, and we're, like I said, we're gonna come back right here. Two, three, and one more. And then let's come right here. Draw the inside and just taper it off. Okay, so now we just have to do the other side, <laughs> draw the other side. So now that we know it's right here, I'm gonna come right here and do the same thing. Just take a look at my other side, about right here. I'll just drag this point across since I'm drawing pretty big. It's approximately same height. And just like the other side, I'm gonna bring it down. So about the same thickness. Uh, and I'll just drag this point across, approximate, just approximate, about right there. And once again, this is coming around right about right here. And now at my point, I'll go ahead, one, two, and three, there. Okay, so then once again, right here, go up and down and just taper it off. And you could draw some curves right here as well, just for some more details. Maybe a little one here. No, I'll just leave it at that before I muddle it up. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it for Horton's head and now for his body. So we're going to um, draw nice big front legs, right? So his body is going to be about right here and here. So let's say here. Let's bring down a curve. Okay, so now I know I'm working with that. I'm gonna come in towards the center right here. I'll start about right here. I'll draw two curves. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and curve this out. Let's work on this leg first. I'm gonna come right here. And down. And right here, I'm gonna pop it out. and connect. So then in this area right here, just draw a curve to finish it off and his big elephant toenails. So just two of them. 
and let's see here. So same thing here. Curve. I'm just following my other side out and around. So about right here, about the same thickness. Bring it down. Pop it out. And connect. So once again, right here. And add another crease and some toenails. There. And then some details. We can add another crease here. And then let's go ahead and finish this off. So let's bring this in and taper it in. So once again, same thing here. Then in between the feet, let's come right here. We're just going to draw a soft curve across. So now to draw his back legs. So let's come out right here, nice and tall in this area. Come out, round it off, and bring it in about right there, kind of where this stops. Come down, just like the front, and in. And once again, just a little curve and some toenails. So same thing on the other side. So about right here. And about right here where this is and then pop it out. And connect. And some big old toenails. There. And let's see if I'm missing anything. That is pretty much it. And I need to put a heart, so I'll put it right here. <laughs> so now it's my Draw So Cute Heart and the Elephant from Dr. Seuss. I really hope you love how this turned out and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.